that. <laughs> That's a war we can support. Now in other news, the Pentagon is reportedly testing high altitude solar powered surveillance balloons that run constant surveillance on a wide portion of the Midwest. Documents filed with the Federal Communications Commission reveal that the military is flying the drones across six states at altitudes of 65,000 feet to quote, locate and deter narcotic trafficking and homeland security threats. The balloons are operated by the U.S. Southern Command. They carry small vehicles with sensors and equipment that can detect moving cars and vehicles. The drones can also communicate with each other and pass along information and video. Tests have already taken place in South Dakota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, Missouri, and Jesse, you are not gonna like this, Minnesota. Well, I'll tell you, Brigida, don't they love to lie to us about what they want to use this? It's called putting us under surveillance. It's pure and simple. They want to be able to watch our every move. You're telling me these drones at 65,000 feet are going to be used, what, to stop drug deals from happening, to stop the opiate wars I, and the opiate problem? I got news. They don't need drones for that. Just go down to your local drugstore. That's where the opiates are being sold. That's where they're being misused. Big pharma's behind it all. It isn't drug dealers running around in cars that need to be watched by 65,000 foot drones up in the air. This is nothing but George Orwell's 1984. Love it, people. You're under surveillance. Your own government doesn't even follow the Constitution of the United States, I believe the Fourth Amendment that would require a, it would require a warrant to do this stuff, but they don't need a warrant now. They got the, they got the lovely old Patriot Act, who's, the act that still hasn't been gotten rid of. When are we gonna wake up in this country that our government is not necessarily our friend? For our